Okay, one of the classes we have in mathematics now is statistics. We even have an AP statistics if you're good at English and math. And statistics is really just trying to describe what's going on with a list of data. So the government will find, like, what's the typical household making money in a year? You know, uh, how many... Uh, how can we help poverty, although they don't always use what the studies show? Um, colleges do studies all the time. Um, you'll see how many percent uh, believe in the Bible or on a sp specific topic. Now, this is the very foundation of statistics, very basic. The mean is what they used to call average before median came along. It's you add up the list of items and divide by the number of items. Now, the trouble with this, the trouble with this is that a very, very large number or very small number can skew, it's called skew, S-K-E-W, the data which means pull it bigger or pull it smaller. So it's not typical of the list. So if you were a real researcher, you'd have to think, gee, do I want to use this really big number, really small number? Is it an outlier, they call it, something that doesn't really go with the data? Where the median, you do two things. You order the list, put it biggest to smallest, smallest to biggest, one or the other, then it's the item in the middle. So the government tends to use median. So therefore, there's not an influence if there's a really big number. We really don't want uh, the guy that formed Facebook, super rich, to uh, bring the data towards one direction more than any other number does. Or we don't want a hobo that probably claims he makes $100 a year uh, bringing it the other direction. Then the mode is just the item that occurs the most. And the range is just the biggest item Minus the smallest item. What's that, Trixie? I know you like being in video. Stay away. I'm, so no, I'm sorry. Just hang in there, Trixie. I'm doing this right now. So here's the mean. We would add up the numbers. So 4 and 6, 10. Plus 5 is 15. Plus 7 is 22. Plus 10, 32. 52, 82. And then 200 is 282. Divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now notice 200 is going to skew this data. Because most of the numbers are pretty small. So I would have 282 divided by um, 8. And it says it's 35.25. Now notice only one number is bigger than that. Most numbers are a lot smaller, so it really bought the data that's 200 in one direction. The median says the one in the middle, so it's already written smallest to largest. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers, so one, two, three, four would be your middle. Four below, four above, so you could do this different ways, but one way is 7 plus 10 divided by 2, which is 8.5. 17 divided by 2. So notice the huge difference. The more the data is evenly distributed, the closer these numbers are to being together. When you have several... Uh, really big or really small that don't match the data, more of these are going to be apart. Now, the mode is none. 
There's nothing that repeats. And the range would be 200 minus 4, which is 196. So I thought you would want some fun. So I have a list for you. So freeze the video, find these four items, then turn it back on. Trixie, I know. Just give me a minute. So uh, go ahead and do this now and then turn me back on. Thank you. Okay, now I like to, before I even start, put the numbers smallest to biggest. So I have a 5, I have a 6, I have 1, 2, 3 tens. Now I like to put it right below the numbers or above the numbers because it seems like you can see if you're missing one then. There's a 20, a 20, a 20. Then we have 30, 40, and 50. Now use a calculator definitely, but right away I see the mode. There's actually two of them. There's three tens and three twenties. So that's my mode, 10 or 20. Yes. Now, I mean, we got to add these up. That's 11. Uh, that'd be 41, 101, 171, 221. Divided by uno, dos, tres, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, 221 on my old broken calculator divided by 11. Oh, it's not working. It says it's 20.09. I'm going to round it to that. I always like two places past the decimal. Now, the median. There's 11 items, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is right in the middle. 5 above and 5 below. So that would be 20. Now be careful you don't make a mistake because there's not a whole lot of work to show, so it's either right or wrong. they are 10 points for each part. And notice how close these numbers are being to each other. That's because this data is pretty well separated. There's not really big numbers, really small numbers. Ooh -hoo. And the range would be 50 minus 5 equals 45. I know, Trixie. I'm sorry. Trixie's getting excited. So the range would be 45. Okay. I'll show you Trixie. Here she comes. I think she fit on the table. Here you go, Trixie. Hello. I'm Trixie. How are you? There's old Trixie. See, I never have to take her for a walk. I never have to clean up after her. I don't have to buy her food. The perfect pet. Hello. Anyways, I hope this helped a little bit. And sorry, oh my goodness, how many times I've done this? I don't know what's wrong. Calculators are breaking, iPads having trouble. I am ready for a nap. And hopefully the Lions, well, at least they'll show up to the right stadium. Have a good day.